Hey everybody, and welcome to the post Battle Back show. Uh, we're going to talk about everything that happened on the Battle Back uh, that we just watched. Uh, where I'm going to get feedback from all of you guys in the chat room to see what you all thought of tonight's episode. Of course, if you guys want to watch any of our shows back, they're over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bb19. And I just want to make one thing clear, because some people were a little bit confused about this. Tonight's show, and like the show that I did yesterday, we're starting to go live every single day now, doing the Big Brother shows. They're all in the playlist uh, on our spoilers page. Uh, I only put the ones that have house guests. They, the ones that have house guests get their own post on the website and iTunes and everywhere else. Because I know that you guys love me, but I don't know that this show and when we're just kind of hanging out and talking Big Brother and it's not like a structured set show, that that's really interesting enough to post everywhere. I mean, I know you guys love it, but they're just, um, I shouldn't have said that. They're exclusive to the website. <laughs> They're exclusive to the website. So uh, they're at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bb19spoilers, which of course you can get uh, by going to our this page right here, slash bb19, or just type it in. Also today, if you guys missed it, Amon's show posted uh, for Fan Fridays, which if you guys are not watching his shows... They are great. They're like little mini video recaps, and he gets into all the drama from last week. So uh, they're funny, and they're great, and they're on uh, our website as well. Um, I see that your boy Richie says Cody's a rat and Cameron was robbed. Well, don't worry, everyone. I have a feeling... I mean, it's not a Rubik's Cube, but if I had to grab my crystal ball... Uh, will Cameron be on the show real soon? Um, my reply is yes. Well, thank you, Crystal 8-Ball. Um, follow Amon. He is great. Amon is amazing. Oh, hi, Comedy Jonah. I see you there in the chat room. Um, Grody Cody the Toady has returned. Everyone, look. Uh, we're happy Cody's returned. Look, I'm not taking back the fact that I think that Cody is literally the equivalent of a human dumpster fire which shoots out racism and homophobia, but it's going to bring feed, chaos, and drama. Now, granted, it's probably all happened and we missed it, but... <laughs> It is going to make for an interesting week because you know Jessica has the power, surprise, surprise, to stop an eviction. So even if someone on Team Cody does not win this next HOH, Cody ain't going anywhere. He's protected. He is protected. Now, let me remind all of you also the feeds will be back on in exactly two and a half hours. So two and a half hours from now, the feeds will be back on. Uh, so if you guys don't have the feeds, get them from yourrealityrecaps.com slash bb19feeds. It's a great way to help support our shows. And if you want 24-7 live feed updates or the play-by-play -play on the episode, make sure you're following at bb19 live feed. But Eric... We have the live feeds, already got them from you, and we love you, and we follow the Twitter account, and it's amazing how it keeps us all updated. But we still miss something, because we're horrible human beings. Well, don't worry. We got you covered there, too. YourRealityRecaps.com slash BB19 flashbacks. You can get all the flashback times. Amazing. You're welcome. Of course, you can also read Becca's blog, spoiler sheets, uh, the podcast, everything over on our website as well. And lastly, we're doing this show right now on you now, but if you're watching it back later on our website, you should become a fan at yourrealitycups.com slash you now. It is a great, great way um, to get notified every single time we go live. And then you can hang out in the chat room with everyone like tonight. Um... 
So not unless Jess told them what the temptation is. Well, Jess whispered to Cody. I mean, we're going to go through tonight's episode kind of in order, but uh, obviously Jess is going to tell Cody that she can protect him. I think, personally, that they were told not to talk about it or she specifically was told not to talk about it. <gasps> Old Broad, thank you very much for the likes. I very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Cody is most likely to go to jury because of the free pass CVS gave Jessica. Boo, hiss. Yeah, I mean, again, we talked about it um, on yesterday's show. I kind of feel like the second Jessica got that halting hex power, it confirmed for me that Cody uh, was already the winner or was going to be the winner of the battle back. Now, I did say I thought the battle backs were played in real time. Clearly tonight proved they were not done in real time, uh, which sucks for Cameron. That means Cameron was alone in a hotel room for like hours and hours and days and weeks and over a month locked in a hotel room not allowed to leave i'm sorry i love all of you i love big brother i would be like no no it's jail you are in jail for a month and let's face it you know the way the battle backs go. You know that they're mainly physical. I would feel like I would just feel like in that position, I'd be like, there's no way I'm winning a battle back. And I got I got stuff to do. <laughs> I got stuff to do. I'm not sitting in this hotel room. Uh, Cameron did really good, though. Cameron did great. Cameron definitely did great. Um... Now, hold on, because I have a surprise that I'm checking on for you. I have a surprise that I'm checking on for you. One second. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me say this, too. Speaking of surprises, I am like 75% sure, 75% sure that maybe possibly Helen is coming on the show oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, so, uh, I will let you know what time, probably tomorrow morning. I'm going to check back in with Helen tomorrow morning, see what time works with her. So far, she's feeling like she can do it. So if she can do it, Helen will be on the show tomorrow. Don't annoy her. Don't tweet her. Don't bother her. It stresses her out. <laughs> I'm working real hard for this one for you. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, that will be happening tomorrow. Um, and of course you guys know this season we have after shows. So the house guests will be on here on you now live for an hour. And then we go to the patron group after for the special after show where you have a one-on-one -on -one with the house guests. So if you guys aren't already, consider becoming a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron to get access to the patron-only Facebook group, prize giveaways, the after shows. You get special weekly shows just for patrons. And it's what allows us to keep bringing you guys shows all the time. Or you can do a one-time donation over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. Now, that being said, we have a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. Um, I see that Nurse Femme says, magnets can interfere with functioning of some pacemakers if too close, but we don't know, uh, but I don't know uh, if she has one. All right, then I'm calling it a draw. I am calling it a draw. We were a little bit confused um, previously if uh, we were a little confused previously if um, what's I'm sorry, I'm working on your surprise at the same time. <laughs> Live show producing and hosting. Um, 
we were a little confused as if Raven was telling the truth about the magnet thing the other day. Uh, so, now according to Nurse Femme, apparently she wasn't. Thank you. Okay, now, let me go ahead and just surprise you guys for one second. I can't believe how well I was able to do this all during the talking at the beginning of that show. <laughs> Wait, I need one more second. <laughs> I need one more second. Everyone, guess who's back? It is the one and only, which was not planned for, <gasps> Karen! Hi, Karen! Oh, I mean John Richardson, but since this wasn't planned, the only overlay I had ready was Karen. So now you're Karen. Shut the fuck up. Is okay. What you need fucking do. I don't appreciate you yelling at me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi, Wi-Fi. Hey, Hi. Can you hear us? I can. Where are you? Are you in like a Winnebago? I mean, a... where are you? <laughs> I'm at the house I'm listing. I listed and I'm doing a, kind of an open house this weekend as well. Um, I was going to say that looks like a really nice house. It's a really small one, so Winnebago is actually perfect. <laughs> well, I think it looks beautiful. So, um, you, so you're waiting for a client. You're waiting for a client. Oh, look, beautiful. It's lovely. Super, super cute. And then you can look inside when you go in the door. Okay, beautiful. So now, true or false, John, that is the sequester house for Big Brother contestants this season. No, I'm the real estate agent, remember? Right. John is not a handler this season for CBS at all. No. And anyway, completely switching <laughs> subjects, John, what did you think about tonight's episode and Cody winning the battle back. Cody going back into the house. Well, I saw the rumors online. Uh, of course, I'm on the West Coast. I haven't seen it yet. I know. So I'm going home and watching it. But I was laughing so hard about Cameron because you're absolutely right. Weeks and um, over a month of being sequestered. Hours in a hotel room. What what do you think that you would like to get catered um, hotel food for an entire month for three meals a day? Like My what would no, but you would. Oh, of course I would. But well, what would yeah. you order? I'd order eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. <laughs> I want to know what the chat room thinks Cameron would order and what you think Cameron w ordered most of the time in his sequester. And we'll see <laughs> And we'll see who gets it right when he's on the show. I'm going to go with French toast. I'm going to go with a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. he. Okay. I know you didn't see it yet, John, but when you watch it back... Mm -hmm. He was clearly working out in that, in like, all of a sudden he got arms and muscles and... He looked good. I loved Erica's comment about, I forgot what Cameron looked like. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, he, he got a little, he, he got a little bit more buff in, in, in the, uh, when he was in the sequester. Well, I think he thought he was going to win and I think he thought he was going to maybe possibly be on the feeds this time, right? And... He still needs to wax. Um, he did look a little fitter. Chat room is saying. Chat room agrees. He looks a little. He looks a little uh, thinner. Um, the chat room is also saying. I see. Uh, M Mini Manda Panda says. What else are you gonna do in a hotel room but order food? Oh, is there a burglar? <laughs> is there one? <laughs> a burglar. You were looking like there was a burglar. I thought this could be a totally different show. <laughs> well, the back door's open. Oh, we know. Of the uh, house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of the house. Uh, 
I would order the most expensive thing uh, that CBS has, says uh, Madison the Nerd. Who do you want to win HOH this week now, John? They we probably have a cap on how much you can order because I would have surf and turf every night. I'd be lobster and steak, lobster and steak in my, in my eggs, everything. I would be like, I'm ordering whatever the hell I want. You have me in prison. Right? Yeah, I got a cap for you when it's called your television network and I'm getting surf and turf. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Um, who do you want to win HOH this week now, John? So Cody's back in the house. Jessica. Jessica yeah. reunited with Jessica, his girlfriend. She's got the halting hex. I saw that. She's got the halting hex. We have people, and it seems like um, Jason and Alex might kind of be on their side a little bit, or at least playing double yeah. agents. We have on the other side of the house, Paul, Mark, Matthew, Kevin. Who would you want to win HOA? Well, I wasn't sure, so I thought I would pray on it. Okay. Dominique, and I heard Christmas's name three times. You did? How annoyed are you? It was just Christmas decorations already starting at my local mall. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure that it is. Are they really? Are they really? That is... Oh, oh they really... Ruining all my jokes oh i'm sorry i'll shut up um what do you think of her on a scooter did you see they gave christmas a scooter i saw the gift that you uh tweet or, re or tweeted out it was hilarious i'm like i'm so done I'm, I'm so over christmas i'm done with her leg i'm done with her weirdness i can't believe paul didn't even react about her not even voting cody out it's something's weird something's weird and i'm not I don't really, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a little shaky about Paul now. So I don't know. Those two, I was on their side, but now I'm. Oh, wait, why are you feeling shaky on Paul now? I just, yeah, there's something. I've been watching the feeds myself on mm -hmm. Pop TV and yeah, I'm, I'm a little done. Okay. If you, so I mean, I it seems like you're on the same page as me. If they said to you right now, John, Christmas goes or stays, it's your choice. What are you picking? Oh, goes. I agree too. She needs to go. But you know what? They released what? Like three days ago? I don't know what um, outlet did it that they um, that somebody was reported that they think Paul, or not Paul, Kevin is playing the game the best ever. Kevin? Ever? Kevin. Yes. No. No. Oh, I'm going to post it on the Patreon page as soon as I, I'm done with my open house. When are you going to be done with your open house? In like 13 minutes. Here's a question. Is it considered successful if when during your open house you have time to guest into a You Now show? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, just checking. I feel like I should help you out here. What's the cost of that house going for and where is located? <laughs> no, everyone's uh, coming home from work and stuff. It's Friday, so. Right. You know, I was off here all weekend, so. Yeah, he's there all weekend. Um, well, if you, if you need a house and you're located in the greater Seattle region. West Seattle. Call John. <laughs> Be here, uh, be here watering your plants. And then on you now when he's going to be showing your house. Um, <laughs> so I don't know why we said that. Um, I like the bedspread, by the way, says Christine B. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Christine B is a fan of the bread set. Do you have, do you have like the smell of like muffins baking? I heard you're supposed to have like muffins baking. It makes people feel like they're at home. Oh, look at that. You got nice cookie. little... Oh, look at that. You got little cookies. I mean, it's no million dollar listing, but, you know. <laughs> hey, I am starting from scratch here, people. Okay. Um. Well, John, I can let you go wrap up your um house. We, okay. The patrons are going to see you on Sunday. John is taking over patron yes. show on Sunday. Right? And we don't, do we know what time it is going to be, supposed to be? 
Um, uh, 3 p.m. your time, but I'm sure the patrons will do whatever time is most convenient for you, and we'll talk about it later. But in general, it's usually at 3 p.m. your time. We'll talk about it tomorrow morning. That sounds wonderful, yeah. John. And then we'll have you back on to officially be on the show. Awesome. I'll see you later. Have fun listing houses. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, yay for John. When I saw him in the chat room, I was like, ooh, uh, I didn't think that he was around right now. I should go and see if I can get him to come on, and we'll see what he thinks about Big Brother so far. We need to get him on when he can be on, you know, for real. I didn't know he was working. <laughs> I didn't know he was working. Um, how long has this been going on for? Since nine? Yes. Um, Kevin already won my favorite house guest vote. Oh, everyone, I'm with you. Kevin and honestly and Christmas are probably two of my favorite house guests this season. However, that does not change the fact that I don't think Christmas should still be in the game. And I would not say Kevin is playing the best game. Um... But I'm sure you could argue it. My point is, Kevin doesn't make moves or plans. He just goes along with everyone else's moves and plans. And while I know that is a good strategy, I don't know that that's a strategy that gets you the win at the end. When a person you are sitting um, next to can say, uh, you are not responsible for anyone being in the jury. You did not make moves that got people out of the house. All you did was let everyone else do the work and take the bullets. I don't know that's a game that gets rewarded in the end. And let's be real, if you watch tonight's episode, which let's talk about now, these house guests are just voting for Paul to win. I'm pretty sure they're just going to roll out a red carpet right to finale night and let Paul skip to the end of the game. If you want a conspiracy theory, it will go back to me saying that Jessica getting that halting hex was a setup to Cody coming back into the game and Cody coming back into the game and Jessica with that power takes all all the focus off Paul for a little while. Now they're all going to be going back and forth at each other and Paul can just step back and let everyone fight because Paul did a great job of a winding Mark up and winding Christmas up uh, after Cody left. So now they're all already angry and going to be going at it and Paul can kind of a little bit fade into the background and play his role of I'm here to support you, I'm here to help you, I'm here to do what you want. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Mark will be uh, the target. I'm actually interested... Who do you want to um, win HOH? I want to see what the majority of the chat room says. Who do you guys want uh, to win HOH? Uh, Lisa G says Jessica. Um, Ramsey's Josh. Jason Kendra says Josh. Mini Sarah says Mark. Jason Ramsey's Josh. 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 Kevin. Um, Nurse Femme says Josh, Danielle, Ramsey's Josh, 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 Josh. Um, Josh could be a target too after him having words with Jess. Correct. All right. It seems like a lot of Josh's. Jewel says Ramsey's. Um, interesting. I see a lot of Josh's, which I don't know how I feel about Josh winning it because I know last we left off he wants to target Mark and Matt and again leave Matt alone leave Matt alone no touch um how do things get leaked if the feeds are down um you know handlers no house guest is ever left alone they're always with a handler which are usually PAs, uh, assistants, people that don't really get paid a lot of money that may or may not be Big Brother fans. Um, 
there is a somewhat uh, reliable leak on Reddit that Jessica won HOH, uh, says Dancing Amy. Interesting. Well, then I guess that keeps her and Cody safe for another two weeks. <laughs> so let the drama continue. I mean, just so you know, they need to. I did not know anything for a fact. I have no inside track. I have no inside information. But I've kind of been saying all along, Dominique or Jessica are going to win the halting hex. It's the only way for the show to keep a back and forth edit going, which is what they want and need. So Jessica winning HOH would be great because then it gets the numbers more evenly balanced in the house. And let's say Paul's side for the moment can't sweep Jessica Cody's side. Um, so it does not surprise me that things are stacking up in that way. And of course, we saw last night uh, that because Jessica took the halting hex, that... Uh, a mystery power will be unleashed that will affect the whole house. Of course they're not going to tell us what the power is. They didn't even know what the power was. They're going to wait for the power until they see who won the battle back and until they saw who won HOH, and then they will adjust said power accordingly to get the outcome they want. Otherwise they would have told us. This is television, people. They're making a TV show. I know that we call it production manipulation, but it's just television. They're just, they're making a reality show. They're making a reality TV show. And it's just normal now. We all just need to accept it. That's why Big Brother is like 30% skill and 70% luck. You have to make it through all of production's minefields of a storyline, which is why... If you're smart and you play Big Brother, you do not piss off any of the first house guests leaving just because they're not in jury. You need to assume that they're coming back into the game. And you need to be their best friend on the way out. And honestly, if I was Paul, when I went up to Cody and I hugged him or did whatever to play that game, I would have literally said to him, I'm going to throw this to make it up to you. Or I would have said something like that to him because look <coughs> if you lose you can tell Cody I did it for you I realized what a mistake I made you have no reason to believe me but I uh, feel horrible I wanted to make it up to you I know it may end my game blah, 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 blah. but he can give that whole spiel to Cody if he actually lost that competition or if he won doesn't matter because uh, he's leaving so either way, it would have been a great way for Paul to protect himself. But clearly he didn't think of that. Paul will go home Thursday. Mm, no. I see no way they let Paul go home. Reddit said the next POV comp is just called... <laughs> is just called Magnet Mania. Run, Raven, run, says Little Big Red. That is funny, Little Big Red. I'm back to choking again. No goodbye messages. How come? <clears throat> There's not enough time. They're cramming so much stuff into the episodes. You know, there's no time. I can't believe we still don't have an HOH. I mean, we're going to find out in three hours. I hope. I hope we're finding out in three hours. Maybe we're not. Uh, but I can't imagine they didn't play it by now. Uh, these episodes have been insanely packed. You know what I wish they would bring back more than anything? Honestly, what I wish they would bring back more than anything is the, um, talking to the HOH. I miss Julie's one-on-one -on -one talks with the HOH. Not so much food comps. I don't know why I'm dying. <coughs> I apologize. I'm choking. Or, or you're welcome for some of you. I'm choking. <laughs> uh... It's been so hard uh, for me to keep up with tweeting. I know it is impossible to keep up with tweeting at all. Um, Matt thinks this is vacation. Yeah. And again, I don't know what you're all missing, 
Mark is fulfilling his role this season, and it's to be hot. I don't mean Mark. I mean Matt. Uh, it is to be hot eye candy. That's his job. He's doing it. I'm sorry if you didn't understand what his job was. His job was to go there and be hot for a hot showman's, which he eventually gives up his position in the game to help said girl. And all I have to say is, I'm dying my hair red after this, for when Matt comes on. Hi, Matt. Hey, girl. Uh, <coughs> that's Christmas's job for me. What's Christmas's job for you? You should just do nothing in the beginning of the game. Correct. That is the other thing that people don't understand. Matt's playing a great game. Matt, brilliant game. Cody, horrible game. Winning the first HOH and declaring war on people. What is wrong with you? Cody made enemies from moment one in that house. The first HOH is a gift. You can literally say, I don't know any of you. I have to make a decision and then make it based on you fell off first or make it be the person you actually want to get out. But think of whatever your BS reason is for doing it and do it like you lay low. There is no reason to put a target on your back before jury. You just need to let all the alphas fight it out like you're watching them do. In other words, you need to be an Elena. Be an Elena. Elena's in jury because she's just a little devil in everyone's ear. Yes, Mark, throw the hot sauce in her face. Yes, Paul, wear that outfit. Yeah, like she does what Paul does, but she does it well. Like, Paul just runs from person to person inside the house, high house, and just, like, spews shit out. Elena is much more crafty about it. She secretly is destroying people's games, and they don't even realize it. So go under the radar and be an Elena. I mean, be an Elena. Yeah, be an Elena. Uh, Raven will go to jury and not till then. I have a feeling Raven's making it to jury as well. But we often see that. We also we often see the Brontes make it to jury, the Bridgets, the Natalies. Those are the people that get to jury. Um, or a Kevin. I don't know. I have a feeling Kevin is going to make it to the end of the game. I have a feeling Kevin is going to make it to the end of the game. Please have Matt on the show when he gets out. Oh, okay. Twist my arm. Um, uh, don't be a beta. Raven seems like the worst person to be around. Very annoying, says Danielle. Oh, Danielle. Probably. Uh, Kevin, top three for sure. All right. Let's for a second talk about tonight's episode because I have to say... I feel like I said it in a few shows. I I felt very strongly that the battle back happened in uh, real time, meaning when the first person was out, they battled the second person out. I did not think that CBS would pay to sequester these people for over a month. Uh, it just seemed insane to me. But we saw tonight, sure enough, they all played the competition uh, right after eviction. And I have to say, like, what I was saying to John, uh, hi, Cameron, when when did you get uh, muscles? Like, hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? It was looking good, I'm just saying. Like, he must have just been spending all of his time eating cheeseburgers and doing push-ups. Hi. Uh, when he was eating pancakes and French toast, yeah, he's been busy and squizzer. Well, I don't know what else you can do. Like, they don't, just so you know, you can't watch TV. You can only watch DVD. Like, literally your choices are DVDs and work out. So, I mean, it worked for him. Cody, I have to say, was giving us... Cody just needs to be a drag queen, honestly. Cody serves such good face. He just needs to be a drag queen. And he doesn't even know he's doing it. 
remember when like RuPaul's Drag, uh, drag Race used to have the drag makeover app and you could like take pictures of people and put them in drag? Uh, we need to start doing that to Cody. Because he gives good face. My favorite part was when they were trying to act to us like Jillian had a chance. <laughs> God loves Jillian. We all love Jillian. But when she was like, I think I might be going back to Las Vegas. I was like, yeah, girl. Yes. Yeah, fact. You're, go you're going back to Las Vegas. Fact. I'm... I'm just saying. You are. And uh, I would have bet my home on it. <laughs> like, you could have asked me, do you want to bet your house that Jillian won't win? And I'd go, yeah. I'd be like, okay, one question. Is the competition in any way uh, involve anything that has to do with Big Brother? And they'll be like, well, obviously. And then I'll go, okay, I bet my house. Because she doesn't have a clue. <laughs> Zero clues. <laughs> no clues. Girl, bye. Wonderful person. Love her. Think she's hysterical. Think, uh, you know, I just... I don't think Big Brother was for her. I'm very interested to have her on this show. I'm very interested to get to learn more about Jillian. I love when we have the people on that we really didn't get to see a lot of because I love when... You guys ask them your questions, and then we kind of learn more about them. And I want to learn more about Jillian, because we clearly did not learn enough about her. So, sure enough, Jillian, Dominique, both lose. Cody was the first winner, uh, and Cameron was the second winner. But here's my one critique about Cameron, and I don't know if you guys saw my tweet before. This shit needs to stop. Everyone. I get it. For some reason, you've all been tricked into believing that if you want to be cast on Big Brother, you need to read Dan's stupid book. I'm going to save you a lot of money. You know what Dan's book should just be called? Uh, common Sense. So I believe in Dan's book, he talks about before you go in the DR or your one-on-one -on -one interview for Big Brother or before you send in your tape, you need to fist a whole bunch of sugar and be super animated. No, you don't. Just don't be, hi, I want to be on Big Brother and I'm really excited. Uh, I'm doing the competition right now and that's just great. Just don't be that. You don't need to be Cameron. I'm here and I'm going to fight it and let's go and let's do... No, you're not doing that in real life. You're not doing that in real life. You don't need to do it in the DR. It's fake shit. And here's the thing. Dan, fake shit. Don't be a fake shit like Dan. Dan's like sleazy fake car salesman. Don't be that. Be you. We like Cameron. Future Big Brother players will like you. Be you. Don't be the jacked up, sugar eating, flailing all around, screaming in the diary room because you read it in Dan's book. I'm so sick of people saying they read Dan's book. By the way, I'm coming out with my book. No. <laughs> I'm not coming out with my book, but I just can't tell you. Every time there is someone that annoys the shit out of me in the diary room, they're always like, oh yeah, we read Dan's book where he says to be super animated and yell a lot in the diary room. Mmm. Yes, we all hate it. <laughs> we all hate it. Um, what would the title of your book be called? Uh, the title of my book would be called um, Don't Be a James. <laughs> uh, no one likes James. Everyone hates James. Don't, no, don't be a James. Captain Who? Uh... I did not invent wall squatting. Just because my main function in life is to squat and do nothing does not mean that because I did it on a wall, all of a sudden I trademarked wall squatting. Dot com. And obviously the clown would also do. I mean, I'm just saying. Does anyone notice how ironic it is that the uh, rodeo clown also knew that move? The Real Life Clown and The Rodeo Clown. Both squatters. Just saying. Anyway. 
Uh, would you have wanted Cody? Oh, would you have wanted Dom or Cody if you could pick? Cody all day. I said I wanted Cody. I wanted drama. Look, here's the thing. Again, this is coming from more of a production mindset. Dom was in the house. She rolled over and died. I liked Dom in the beginning of the season. I know Dom. I know a lot of people like her. I know, um... I know there's like all the all the stuff that happened last week, which are not negating that in any way, but it doesn't change the fact that Dom rolled over and died. So do I think that if you would have went back into the house and then you got put right back on the block that you're not just going to roll over and die? Anything you wanted to do, you could have done last week and you didn't do it. It was like pulling teeth to get you to say that Paul was the snake. Production sees right through that. I pretty much was sure there was no way they were giving that to Dom. I was pretty sure there was no way that Dom, uh, Dominique was winning that power because she didn't do anything on her way out. And, and, and that's when you go balls to the wall. That's when you light fires and burn the house down around you when you have nothing left to lose. And she didn't do that. So there's no reason for them to try and keep Dominique safe or give her some magic power or do anything to help her because she's clearly not going to do it. So uh, I wanted, I personally wanted Cody back in the house for good feeds. Allison said the curse is not the battle back, but something else. Correct. Allison Grodner also said that she thinks Paul is in danger now and that he's no longer the one to watch. She thinks that Kevin, Josh, and Jason are... Kevin, Josh, and... No, no, Matt. Kevin, Josh, Matt, I believe is who Allison Grodner says... Um, are the people to watch now and have the ability to go far in the game. And that she thinks um, Paul's time in the house might be coming to an end. Uh, Eric's book will be Matt Marry Me. No, well, I'm already married. <laughs> it might be like Matt, meet me in an alley behind the dumpster. But I'm already married and I will never do it again. <laughs> Um, she also said, uh, to watch Megan. She also said to watch Megan. Who said to watch Megan? Allison? Said to watch Megan. Oh, you mean earlier in the summer. Okay, I got it, I got it. I thought you meant in the same article. Like, I'm talking about the article that just came out, like, a few hours ago. I got it. You mean in the beginning of the season. Got it, got it, got it. Um... Just read that sounds like HOH comp is similar to the sword one on OTT that Alex won and Justin danced through. Uh, I don't know if you're all aware. All of these comps are some version, it seems like, of OTT comps. I mean, was this not similar to what the final competition? I mean, granted... I guess the maze was an upright and you were in, in theirs, you had to get the balls in the holes. And in this one, you had to avoid the holes, but I mean, it was kind of similar. I feel like a lot of these comps are mimicking uh, OTT comps in another sort of, uh, sort of way. If Paul is not going to win, he probably won't make jury either because he's got real life things to do. Oh, BB hide. Oh no. Diane, who said that? Oh, Diane did. Oh, Diane. I got a newsflash for you, Diane. CBS paid a pretty penny for Paul. Uh, it is like they bought a Paul commercial. You know like how advertisers pay CBS to put their commercial uh, on in between the show? Uh, well, CBS does that with Paul. They bought Paul. They probably bought Paul for about $25,000 to bring in fans from last season because he was a fan favorite. If you think they're letting their Paul investment go before jury, you're crazy. They want 
Paul and the Jury House clips. They want uh, Paul's fun things on CBS.com, which they'll have him film when he's in Jury House. They're going to milk Paul the entire time if he's not winner. They're getting their $25,000 worth. So they are not letting him go home. Why do you think the Temptations end at Jury? The Temptations are all designed to keep Paul safe. It's why they're all open-ended. Just my opinion. It is to protect their investment in a paid returning player. Allegedly 15k, 25k if he makes it to jury. Of course. And he's going to make it to jury. Uh, I felt like Paul would say, let me win or let me go because I got stuff to do. Yeah, he probably would have, but didn't. I think Paul feels invincible. Here's the thing about Paul. Paul is super smart in real life. Paul is super smart in real life. However, he is not a student of Big Brother. He does not know this game inside out and backwards. He hasn't been watching it for years and years. I think if he was, he would play differently and do and do things a little bit uh, differently. My, my point is, based on what you just said, I don't think that Paul realizes that the temptations are designed to keep him safe until jury. I think Paul just thinks, I'm playing such a great game, which he is playing a great game, because you can't deny that even with the temptations, the house wants Paul to have everything, win everything, be on their side, go to him for advice. But still, I don't think that Paul realizes how he uh, gets helped and just thinks, I'm playing this super amazing game. I don't know without all of the temptations in place if Paul would have made it as far as he made it. Um, do we know who the little tamale or burrito that Paul keeps referring to is? Oh, yes, Jessica's pregnant, and the baby, they're calling the baby the little burrito. She's pregnant with Cody's baby. Uh, you heard it here first. I don't think he's playing a great game. They're just appeasing him while he's safe, in my opinion. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to believe... I mean, we're not going to know. We're not going to know until the feeds come back tonight. When the feeds come back tonight, we can finally see how the house guest will act with Paul not having a power to protect him. But here's the thing. I think it's going to be like Stockholm Syndrome. They have relied on Paul for everything for so long. You have to remember, everything gets stripped away from them. Their family, their friends, their loved ones, food, a comfortable place to sleep, the ability to speak honestly. You know, everything's been stripped away from them. And the one constant which they all seem to feel that they have is their connection to Paul and his honesty and loyalty and helping them maneuver through this game. And there is something to be said for the psychological aspect of that that I don't think some of these people are going to want to shut that off just because his safety is gone. But we will see. We will see. Cody told Jess he was going to make her leave with 500k and three months pregnant, says the chat room. Well, there you go. Now I want a burrito. Me too. <clears throat> His girlfriend lives in New York. He said he is moving there. Whose girlfriend? Paul's girlfriend, right? <gasps> oh, I would love if Paul, I would love if Paul moved to uh, New York. Um, it takes three weeks to form a habit. Paul is now a habit. Correct, Debbie Dawn. Paul is now a habit. I am telling you, there is a lot of reasons why production does what they do in the game of Big Brother. 
Um, Jess may put up Josh in Christmas. She very well may. Well, let's, I mean, I know we all saw it, but just in case somebody is watching this back later who didn't, um, let me just finish wrapping the show up super quickly by saying, so obviously it came down to Cody and Cameron. They had a face off slinging balls at the wall with like the giant slingshot and knock the targets down. But no surprise, it was Cody who won. Julie had to tell the whole entire house guest had the house uh what was up then make them wait and then this is kind of what we're talking about right now is that the whole house voted paul to play and i want to get inside their heads i want to get inside their heads for that one um because the house was getting to vote on who played cody they let cody pick the game and Julie was like, but they're going to be a little bit different, each one. Uh, and then she tells them how they're going to be different. She's like, you're going to have to shoot at the balls, but the board's going to be spinning. They could barely hit those panels down with it not spinning. If he would have picked that, which thank God he didn't, I was like, I, you would be even dumber than I thought you were. <laughs> Who would have picked that board spinning? Could you imagine? I think they would have been there for like 10 hours. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't say uh, it's spinning with flaming hoops of fire. And you have to shoot the ball through the flaming hoop of fire and then hit the spinning board. Like, I think production wanted them, wanted them to pick that maze thing so much. And of course he has the advantage, like it matters if the obstacle is different and the holes aren't in the same place. The whole hard part of that is learning how to maneuver the board. And he's had a whole entire learning curve ahead of Paul on how to move the board around. Um, so no real surprise that, like we said, Cody won and is back in the game. And as much as I can't stand those two trash bags, here's the deal. I do appreciate that we didn't have the big dramatic running in. Like, I feel she did run to him and they hugged and had their moment, but it was no, I'm running and tackling you and you're falling on the ground and we're having the awkward kiss. And like, you know, you know, it's been awkward in the past. So I appreciated it in like a low key running <laughs> and embracing. For one second, I was kind of like, oh, you two are kind of a cute couple. And then I remember that they're both flaming bags of garbage. <laughs> it was kind of cute. It was kind of cute. Too bad they're little demon people. In the game. In the game. Maybe when they come out of the house, they'll be nice people. Personally, for me, I have no desire to talk to Cody to find out if he's a nice person or not a nice person, but I think you shouldn't judge him until you see how he acts outside of the house. Either way. Um... If Cody chose the slingshot, they were going to use Josh's balls to hit the target. Well, I think they could use all the house's balls because they would have been blue. Um, not a fan of Cody. No. The feeds come back at 9 p.m. Pacific. The feeds are coming back in an hour and a half. Uh, which... It's very interesting now because I was kind of under the impression that I was going to have us all take like an hour or so break and then come back before the feeds come on. But now it's almost like an hour into the feeds come on. So now I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but Jessica, Jessica is the new HOH. Nobody knows that for sure, but I do hear that that is the current... Um, most believable spoiler of the moment. A uh, little big red wants to know: Is there points awarded for Cody coming back into the game? Of course, she's referring to the trash draft at yourrealityrecaps.com/slash trash draft. 
And Amy says, yes, there are points awarded for Cody coming back in. I was going to say, you can go to the page and look at all the ways that people get points um, there. Uh, who do you want to have HOH? Oh, okay. If I could pick who I wanted to have HOH, I would pick... Ba-dum-bum. -bum. Um, Kevin. I think Kevin needs to start getting some blood on his hands. And I don't say that because I want Kevin to be a target. I say that because if Kevin makes it to the end of this game, I would like Kevin to have something that he can say to Jury uh, to make him, to make Jury feel that he deserves to win the game. Like, we all love Kevin. I want Kevin to have some more game under his belt. So I would like a Kevin exchange. I mean, plus he already thinks he's like a mob boss <laughs> running a jail block. I want to see what happens when he's on the top floor and has to look down on everybody. I think it would be hysterical. I literally think he would make people kiss his ring when they walked into the HOH room. And I'm here for it, is what I'm saying. I'm here to watch it. He'll get even further if he doesn't win comps because his social game is good. Look, uh, pretty much everyone's an idiot if they don't just drag Kevin and Christmas to the end. You dragging Christmas to the end is like a whammy for other people playing in comps. Again, if you didn't see our show yesterday, you can check it back out our website, but I got way more into it of why I don't think it's fair that Christmas is being left in the game. Uh, she, she's getting picked for stuff and then, uh, doesn't play and doesn't have to sit out beforehand. It takes away from people that actually want to play the game. But, uh, if I was in the game, I would use that as strategy. I would drag Christmas to the end of this game, keep blocking people from playing, hopefully not myself. And then, God forbid, if we're in a final three and you're going to put us on a big apple and bob us up and down where we slam onto our feet, Christmas ain't doing that shit. And oh my God, I just advanced the part two. So, you know, these people uh, are crazy if they don't keep Christmas and Kevin around. Kevin cannot... Kevin can got in good with Cody by telling him he didn't vote him out. Or, right, right, right. Uh, don't drag Christmas. Ride with her on the scooter to the top. I'm not dragging Christmas. I love Christmas. I think Christmas is a strong, amazing woman who I would love to see have a chance play at this game again. But in the interest of the other people in the house, I don't think it's fair to them that she takes up spots in competitions uh, that they can't play in when their life's on the line. I just don't think it's fair. Uh, in the same way, I wouldn't think it's fair if it was happening to her uh, for someone else's hurt foot. I just, that's just me personally. I like when the game has a basic level playing field. And I think that's such a huge disadvantage to all the other players. Um, Throw everyone under the scooter. <laughs> exactly. I mean, look, I'm here for it. It'll make for interesting feeds. Sometimes I just have to argue the point with myself. It's not a scooter, it's a sleigh. Correct. BB's not fair. You're correct. BB is not fair. I agree with you. It's not fair. But if people want to hear my opinion, that's my opinion. Why well, I think she should go. Uh, no one thinks people, people who throw comps should not be allowed to play. I 100% agree. But I think there's a difference between you throwing a comp and you being allowed to be picked for a comp that you cannot physically play in. She took the spot that you could argue one of the people on the block could have had to save their game when they knew she couldn't play it because it was physical. It's just, it's just not fair. And I would argue that it wasn't fair if it was happening to her as well. Um... 
but it gives the person on the block less com uh, less competition and more of a chance to win. Of course, it does that too, which I would also say is also not fair to the people fighting for their uh, life in, in the house. <clears throat> Found it hilarious when Alex dropped the Alliance bomb. I thought that was hysterical. Did you guys not hear what Julie said? Um, did you not hear what Julie said about uh, before Ramsey's, like when she caught herself? Oh God, I wish I remembered what the exact wording was on last night's episode. Uh, oh God, it was so, it was so, do you remember Amy? <laughs> like I literally had to confirm it that I wasn't crazy and I was not the only person who just heard Julie say that because I was like, what's on Julie's mind? Um, do you think that some comps are rigged for a certain person to win? N no, I don't think that comps are rigged. No, I don't necessarily think that comps are rigged. I heard something, I can't remember it though. Julie said something like, um, he's been, uh, oh God, I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, she said he survived the black. There you go. <laughs> so Ramses is walking down and Julie is like, so Ramses survived the black. And then like she stopped herself before she like fully emphasized the K of black <laughs> and then was like, black lock <laughs> but I was like I was kind of not listening because I was like trying to update and when I heard Julie say she survived the black I was like oh no <laughs> short circuit go back if you still have it on your DVRs go back and watch uh right before Ramsey votes and you can like watch Julie short circuit and I was like oh god <laughs> she was obviously saying Ramsey survived the block but she got caught up in her words and with everything that it has been going on I thought it was oh I didn't realize I had my wrong thing on um with everything that was going on, I was like, oh God, Julie, no. <laughs> it was casual wear that made her short circuit. I swear, I don't know what she was wearing. I don't know what she was wearing, but just no, Julie. No, no, no. Um, who's picking Julie's wardrobe this year? Let's not. Paul had to run in that state. Dale dress and ruin Ramsey's dance. I know. I voted for it. I voted for it in Amy's poll. I voted for the dance as the uh, as the most gifable moment for a uh, trash draft. She looked good, Eric. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Um. So, here is the deal. Here is the deal. I want to just remind all of you i'm gonna end it for the people uh watching it back because i feel like we covered all of the stuff from the uh um, battle back episode right now so i feel like this is a good part to stop this show for the people that just want to recap and watch this back later so what i'm and then i'm gonna stay with you guys on you now for a few minutes more so just let me say I'm not even going to do it all. All I'm going to say is thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the recap. And you can check out everything over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash bb19. We're obviously, you're there right now. Because if you're watching this show, you're literally on our webpage. So click more around uh, and become a patron to help support our shows and get exclusive access shows, uh, patron group after shows, and help us keep doing shows into next year. And or OTT. <laughs> and we will see you guys all later. Um, beats in a little bit. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.